welcome to my review of the HippieNet 4-in-1. This is the Hippie Net all in one, which is called the Whole Net. They also have a range of other nappies, um, pockets, fitted, um, some pull ups, and some other products as well. So, quite an impressive range. Um, the all in one retails for around £18.50. The outside is PUL. Um, it feels quite smooth to the touch, but it is a little bit on the squeaky side, I find. Um, the prints are really bright and colourful, and then they have a binding around the edges. There is a double gusset on the legs and the elastic is quite tight. Um, I'm not normally a fan of a double gusset anyway, but I do find this one is quite sock marky on my baby. The rise poppers are in three columns, which is my preferred option because it helps keep the nappies shape better. My boy is two and we have one rise done up here, so we've still got one more to go. So it has four rise settings all together. Um, so I've tried this nappy on my niece as well, who um, is around £13 and on the smallest wise, and it fits her really well. So definitely a good option for smaller babies. It's only available with a proper waist fastening. You've got hip stability poppers, double poppers, and then an overlap as well. So you can get that waist really nice and snug. There are a good range of poppers on the panel as well, and they go quite near the edges. So you get a good range of sizing. There's a small amount of tummy elastic just there at the front. Inside this is what I call a true all-in-one because there is nothing extra to stuff back in. Everything is attached so the insert is sewn at both the front and the back here. So once it's dry you can just pop it straight back onto your baby. It has a PR tummy panel at the front and then a bit at the back as well. Because the insert is the full length of the nappy, I did worry that when I put this on my niece, because you'd have to fold it a little bit, I struggled to get a good fit, but I actually didn't. It did fit her pretty well, actually. So the insert itself is topped with stay dry. So this is athletic wicking jersey. Though I normally really like athletic wicking jersey as a liner for nappies, um, I do find this one doesn't keep my baby particularly dry. Um, it does feel quite damp to touch after taking it off him. It's grey in colour. I do prefer to have white nappies just so I can keep an eye on any staining, um, but that's just purely a cosmetic point for me. Because it's all attached and you've got the PUL on the back, it does make it a little bit slower to dry, so I try hang it so the air can circulate a bit better or turn it inside out during the drying process. The absorbency in between the two stay dry layers is four layers of bamboo and it's actually got a really impressive absorbency. I was really pleased with how this performed. You can also buy some additional boosters, um, so you can, if your baby is an extremely heavy wetter or if you want to use this overnight as well. They do both hemp and bamboo options. So these are the small ones. This is the hemp and it's got a double popper here. And this is four layers of hemp and it retails for £4.50, which is quite expensive, I think. And then there's a small bamboo here, which again has the same poppers. And again, this is four layers of bamboo. And this retails for three pounds. So on the back of the insert, let's turn that the inside out. At the front here, this is the front of the insert, you've got some poppers here. So these ones, you can use either of these and just snap it onto the poppers just there. So that poppers on really quickly and then gives you a bit more absorbency. And because this is the small one it's, and it's a little bit shorter, that is great for using on younger babies as well because you're not going to have so much insert to try sort of fold up inside the nappy. They also do a larger insert as well. Again, there's a bamboo and a hemp option. I've tried both, but I could only really find the hemp for filming. So this is like a long snake insert with the popper set in the middle. So both the hemp and the bamboo are both six layers thick each. The hemp retails for £7.50 and the bamboo for £4.50. And again, I do think these are quite expensive. When using it, you're going to need to fold the large insert. Um, so already now you're getting 12 layers of absorbency. So that is really good. And again, you can snap it onto the nappy here. So you can put these ones on the top, so have it like this. So now you've got an extra 12 layers of absorbency. Um, you could also fold this as well. So you could fold that front bit like that to give you more absorbency at the front if you needed it. 
And of course, because you've got some poppers left, you can also use the small insert as well if you wanted. And snap that onto the large insert. So then you really have got a lot of absorbency in this nappy now. Alternatively, you can attach the large one to these poppers here. Just to move the absorbency a little bit further back. Um, I don't really see the point of these ones actually because this one attaches to the top and the small one also attaches to the top and then you can attach a small one to the large one. Um, I don't really find a use for these but they're there if you need them. So I've not tried the nappy with all of the inserts in overnight myself but I have tried it in the morning when my boy is an extremely heavy wetter and it did last really well. Um, for this much absorbency, I also don't think it's a particularly bulky nappy either. I mean, compared to your average day nappy, that is on the bulkier side, certainly. But I do think this offers an impressive amount of absorbency for the bulk. Of course, you don't need to use the hippie nut boosters if you don't want to. You could add any absorbency just by putting it underneath the main insert. And once you've folded it up onto your baby, it will stay in place underneath. Overall, I think this nappy offers a good range of sizing to fit different shaped and sized babies. And the absorbency is impressive. As I said, this with the standard insert, I find the, uh, an absorbent nappy that I don't particularly need to boost. And then with the extra inserts, it does offer a really good reliable nighttime option. However, if you were to buy, say, both the large and the small hemp insert and then add it into the nappy, you are looking at around a £30 spend, which does feel quite expensive at this point. At £18.50, I think the nappy itself is quite reasonably priced. It's just the boosters that I think are a bit expensive, but you can use other boosters that you already have. For me, the biggest issue I have with the nappy is the leg elastics though, because they do just leave too tight a sock mark on my baby. And I've played with the fit loads um, and I just can't seem to get it not to leave deep sock marks on him. I think that's partly because they are really springy in order to fit the range of sizes. Um, and then also maybe the binding contributes to that as well. And therefore, sadly, although the absorbency is great, I won't use this nappy on my baby. And therefore, I'm going to give the Hippie Nut All-in-One two stars. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more content.